Mr. Mario. Hey, How are we doing, mate? All good? Good, man. <laughs> nice to see you again. Hey, you too. Yeah, we are in the middle of our projects, but next is going to be, I think if you guys remember, back before the hurricanes, we had to do our hurricane anchor management system. <laughs> that was one of them, the big M2 Mantis. So that one we need to decide what we're going to do with now because it needs to either go in storage or go up on the secondary bow roller, which we still don't know if it's going to fit. We need to maneuver around that. But if you remember well, we got the Mantis 105 is the one on our, our primary anchor on the ground now. And we put the secondary anchor behind that, which was the Rockness 70. And that's the one that's bolted physically to our primary anchor chain. So now the job is to get back in the water, unbolt that anchor, get it back on deck and put it in storage. So we don't need it anymore. We're past hurricane and storm season. We might get some squalls, but Certainly nothing that our 105 can't handle on its own. That Mantis is heavy as a rock, <laughs> so we don't worry too much about that. But now we do need to bring up the secondary anchor, and that's uh, going to be today's next project. So go to the water. <laughs> go to the water. <laughs> yeah, Sebastian's favorite part. Go yeah. to the water. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're only a dive instructor. You do it for a job. You hate it now, right? <laughs> been enough in the damn water <laughs> give me a beer i just want to watch <laughs> yes <laughs> there you go uh, i talking about mario we try to imagine how that that uh, piece of iron is bent yeah i know i don't know i mean if you guys look at this you remember there's our new bow roller that we just put in and look at that it's bent like really badly right there the only thing I can figure is that during the storm, one of the snubbers must have got caught on it as the boat was spinning around. Yeah. And on that side and just pulled it because that's the only thing would possibly have enough force to bend that steel yeah, like that. That's a strong metal. That's heavy duty metal and we didn't have any collisions, so I don't know. But yeah, we do need to straighten that out before we can pull the anchor back up, so another project on the list <laughs> we got to see if we can straighten that out otherwise we're gonna have to take it off and take it back to the stainless guy and have him just bend it back into shape so. okay so you've got what you need you got you're gonna need cutters to take off the stainless wire that you wrapped around it remember you put a locking wire on it yep let me save this one because i don't want and then you'll need a good set of pliers to take the actual the nut out of the like the bolt out of it so yep that'll work those are big enough pliers for you yeah i think it's enough okay you the boss. For now. For now. Just in the water. <laughs> Just inside the water. Hey, what's that, Rick? Oh, that's our weather station. It's supposed to be mounted back up here, but we still don't have a mount for it. Oh, it's new, but we put it there when we were having the hurricanes come, so we wanted to track weather, and our masthead instrument's gone. It's not working. We don't know what happened to it, if it was a victim of the lightning strike also. But it stopped working completely, so we have no weather instruments and no depth sounder. So that's one of our biggest problems we have to deal with next also. We're working on it. You see what you want to see And I look at what's right in front of me Do you remember opening your tank? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Come Wait. down, please. Right, get down there. Oh, what was it last time? Shit! Did you do it? Or? Hey! Advice! <laughs> oh. 
See, that's what you do to me all the time. But, Captain, please, or Mario, please, because <laughs> it's very difficult to do it. Everything is okay, my GoPro. Yep. Perfect. See you later. See you. Have a good job. A lot of bubbles. Stan Sebastian already has the second anchor disconnected, ready to come up. So, uh, Adelina is here uh, removing the snubber lines. So we still got the two snubbers from the storm. So she's got one off and one still remaining. And disconnecting the chain from the Mantis 2. And there is the second line that's going out to the anchor we're about to pull in and retrieve. 
But of course, we're a little bit far back from the uh, from the anchor because we're you know we got 120 feet of chain out still. So you got to take off the seconds number still. Yeah, I need to go up. Bring it up. Yeah. Okay. Go up a more, Rick. More. Uh, the button keeps stopping. That's good news. Perfect. Sticky. Watch your hands. Okay, now grab the line. Yeah. It's been on there through two, Wait. two <laughs> hurricanes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see Sebastian coming up the line. All okay? Yeah, right? Okay. We're just waiting to get the snubber off and then we'll bring the boat far closer up. Now the second anchor is in this rope. Oh, it's attached already? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, watch your feet. Wow. <laughs> a new life is a coral life. A little bit of coral life growing on here. <laughs> hey, two hurricanes worth. <laughs> yeah. Sixty-foot mark. Okay, he's still got the rope there. Okay, that should be good. Now, okay, we need to untie this rope from here okay. and run it up through here. So we're going to use this roller to pull the anchor up. Right under us now? Huh? Right under us? Yeah. Okay. Pull it up till it's tight. Be careful the contour. Yeah, put the rope back here. Stop. Getting tight? Yeah. Okay. The hurricane. Yeah, it's a damage. The protection of the snobber because have more. Oh yeah, see, this is contention. exactly what I was telling you. That's why we put these tubes on here, so yeah. that it takes the rubbing of any metal parts or friction or anything on the boat yeah. instead of the rope. A lot of tension. Because if the rope takes it, as you can see, it took a little bit there. Yeah, it's like. And if that gets going, that's Look just going to sever, and then we lose the snubber. So. That's why this was here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, watch your feet, Maddie. Get out of the way. Woo. <laughs> it's rusty. <laughs> well, there's our whole hurricane storm plan. Yeah. And it worked. Wow, it's very clean, guys. I mean, it's been buried for a long time. <laughs> okay. And now we want to fix the the, the mantis too. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, for now we need to get this one untied, and it's got to get stored again. It was down in the locker underneath the spinnaker, so. Okay, perfect. And then we decided if we're going to put that one because we don't know if it's going to sit on the outside roller or not. That's what we needed to test. So we just don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me go no, because I, I think I lose. This was just our extra weight anchor. <laughs> yeah, it's all lucky we have. That's all this was, was the catch. This is the one that just gave the primary anchor double the holding power. So the Amantis 105 is the one that's still down there holding us. Hey, baby. Thank you so much for your great job in doing the last mounts. 15 días después estaba esta. Sí, yo vi el video, pero esa es la que estaba atrás. Esta es la segunda, sí. Ok. 
So today's video, we're keeping it short because we just wanted to introduce you to some of the projects we're working on as we get the boat prepared for something coming up. And I can't promise anything yet, but we think we may have gotten permission to be able to take Sophisticated Lady out for some sample cruises, like shakedown cruises, as we get ready to start traveling again. So we've been talking to the government here, the port captain and so forth, about being able to take the boat out because we said, hey, we've been sitting here for a long time and we can't just shoot off, you know, like three, four hundred miles without at least testing the boat and make sure nothing breaks or falls apart unnecessarily that we don't know about. Yeah, I know, I know. But that's the truth of the matter. You need to test the boat before you just take it to sea. So by next video, we should have our answer and that is when we'll be able to tell you for sure but if that's the case we're going to be doing some shakedown cruises that we'll be taking you guys along with for sure meantime again today we just wanted to say thank you very much to everybody for watching we wanted to say thanks especially to everybody who's really helping us make it possible and of course that is directly in our patrons and we've got a bunch of new patrons that just joined up this month since christmas so we would Thanks like so much. to take opportunity to say thank you to you guys personally. So, let me We Madeline. have uh, Chris Morris, Dave Schmutzer, Dan Rossi, Bob Riley, and John Anderson. We have Don Riordan, Kervin Slade, James Kahn, Vince Aquist Aquista Space. I hope I got that right, Vince. Patrick Baker. Alan. Leno, no, Leo. Leo, I believe. Cartwright Waterhill, Julie Stein, Steve Frisch, YouTube Selling Channel TV. That's cool. I don't know who that is, but sounds good. Thank yeah. you for supporting. <laughs> and Jay War, I don't know, is the correct pronunciation or is a Evor, Jay War, not sure. But I don't know. Thank Thanks you very so much. much. Yeah. Stephen E. Whale, Martin Williams. Paul Garcia, Zach Berger, and Cyrus. Cyrus, Cyrus, I'm not sure, but thank you everybody. And we've also had some PayPal contributions sent in. Wanted to thank you guys personally as well. It's Marco Gucci, Gregory Maham, and John Johnson. Joshua Koski, Dennis Gable, and Charles Sprinkles. So thank you very much to all of you. We appreciate your support like you can't believe. Thanks so much for following our dream and your dream too. And we are getting prepared to move on with our journey, so you guys are along for this ride and we can't tell you how much we appreciate it. You're all making it actual possible, so thank, thank you, you so much for that. So we will keep you posted and within the next video, hopefully within the next few days, you're going to get a positive response and uh, we'll go from there. So until then, have a great night. Stay safe out there. And see you in the next episode. See you next episode. Cheers. <laughs>
bin das in ihr Gummi. Ja. Ich habe das Kambel. 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 Ich habe das Kambel.